I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. Thank you guys for joining me in the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I'm here to talk about something that everybody's been talking about. Which is... What's going on with Laura Barton? Is Hawkeye's wife... Mockingbird? Now, I know there are some agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. nuts out there who are like, well, we already have a Mockingbird. She's right here. Bobby Morris. You mean that character who got written off of that show... Like, that show a long time ago who wasn't even good enough to get her own spinoff, that character, that the, that's the character Kevin Feige's gonna be like, we're gonna bring that girl back. Couldn't even get her own spinoff. We're gonna get her right back. No, no. I don't give a rat's ass about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I wouldn't <laughs> if I was them. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s got a lot of shit going on. It's a lot more complex bring it, to try to fix Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. into the MCU than it would be to fix Daredevil and Netflix shit just because that shit all took place in, like, one neighborhood. <laughs> but anyways, I digress. It, the evidence is piling up. Now, like, because it's starting to become abundant. Now, I know some people are, are will argue with me about it. Some people have argued with others about it. But it's becoming badly clear to me there's more to Laura Barton than meets the eye. First of all, let's just get this straight. Hawkeye asked her to look up something. Just to look look, look into some information on, an, on this company. Not only did she do, not only did she look into the information for that company, she found, she found someone, got them to flip, figured out who's running the company. She did all that in a matter of minutes. This woman did all that just chilling in her house. Not only does she know, obviously she knows tactics, uh, she, the way she talks to him, the, and like, it's starting to become clear, the way she talks to him, it like it's a, it's both a concerned wife, but it sounds like someone who's familiar with this stuff. Like, and granted, granted, I'd be willing to have a conversation that maybe she's just a wife who's lived in this life long enough that she just understands. Sure, that's a possibility, but her concern about that watch, the whole oh, it's someone's uh, the whole Hawk Clint's explanation about the wife being oh, the watch link is is a link back to a fr old friend of mine who's been out of the game for a long time, and it'll blow their cover. Bye bye, friend. It just feels to me like, and and and, and you have Linda um, Carnellini, who's a very great actress, in here playing his wife. She's such a good actress. It, it just feels like they want to add more meat to that Hawkeye bone, and not to mention that Hawkeye in the comics is traditionally married to Bobby Morris, aka Mockingbird, and and you kind of kind of go, okay. And the, the way his family is so secret, the fact that no one really even knows where his family's from, where his family lives, you know, they never really tell you how they met each other. She knows not. Like, she's on a first name basis with Natasha. And she and he tells her everything, and she's so calm and cool and collected and thoughtful about everything. And I, and you know, and I agree with others who have said it's great to have a character like this, a female wife character who isn't nagging the husband about, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? What about your family? It's, it's great to have that. But it's one thing to be supportive. She is just, she is way too calm, way too cool, way too chill. She can speak multiple, she, apparently she's bilingual. She can just fluently speak another language just like for no, like, I'm just like, look, I understand some people who, who want to be like, no, it's not really that. But, oh, Hawkeye taught his wife a few things. No, she did that. She, she, she hacked, she figured out all that stuff way too quickly. She got someone to flip way too quickly. She speak, did Hawkeye teach her an entire language? No, there is more to her than meets the eye. And I would be willing to bet. I don't know how much, I'd be willing to bet. A dollar. I bet a dollar. Two dollars. I'm bold right now. Two dollars. That there will be a post credit scene with um, Va Val showing up at the Barton at the Barton farm and looking at the mom and being like, so this is where you've been hiding. Oh, you just ran away to play house. And it's going to be this all uh, it's going to be this kind of scene where and she's going to, and I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to end with her going, Laura, 
Oh, is that what you're calling yourself? No, your name's Bobby. Like, it's gonna be revealed that she is Bobby, that she is Mockingbird. I just got this feeling. It just feels like it'd be a cool thing to do. It would add a lot more intrigue. It add, like, t tell the truth. It would add a lot more intrigue to Hawkeye's family if it turns out that her, that the wife got out of the game to become, and it makes sense, doesn't it? Like, they fell in love while they were both S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. The wife wanted to be a be a mom. They wanted to have kids and the whole nine yards. Clint didn't want to quit. Like, Clint decided to keep doing what he was doing. But, because think about it. No, like, like they're, they're off S.H.I.E.L.D.'s radar. Like, Nick Fury kept them off of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s files. Which means all the people who knew about them are the Avengers. You know, Tony, who's dead. Cap, who's, who knows. You know, it's like the only people who knew about his family, there's only a few people. And before Age of Ultron, there was only two. <laughs> so, and like, so I'm just getting this feeling that Laura Barton is a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent who is a badass, codenamed Mockingbird, who fell in love with Clint Barton, um, gave him a heart, and uh, gave him a heart in which he used that heart that she gave him to help others like Natasha Romanoff and whatnot. Gave him a heart. She decided, well, if we're going to be together, I want to have a wife, I want to have um, children, and I want to have a real family. And they decided, okay, well, the only way we're going to be able to do that is if you change your name, go under the radar, and, you know, maybe we fake your death, something crazy like that. And then we can start a family. I I'm going to have to keep on because no one's going to believe we both died. So I'm going to have to keep going. But we'll be able to do that. And, you know, with Nick Fury's help, we're able to keep this completely under the wraps. And they be and that's what they were. And, like, she's been out of the game. She doesn't want to be in the game. She doesn't want to risk anything with the family. She doesn't want to get involved in any of that. Because, you know, maybe it could be as easy as she doesn't want to, like... I know one thing that would probably come up, which is if she's got all these skills, if she's a badass, if she can kick ass, why well, hasn't she helped out before? But it's probably. But I feel like that could be answered as simply she did. As simply, if her and him go out and fight and they both die, then who's gonna look after their children? So you know she's prioritizing the children, and he's probably he probably pretty much told her, or asked her very strongly to you know stay and look after the children and don't worry about me. But there might be a sequence. That gives it away. Maybe it'll be in the last episode or not. But there might be a sequence. Maybe it'll be in a season two. I feel like that'd be a nice follow up. Of someone attacking the farm. And her just fucking them up. And it just be like. Yep. She's Mockingbird. Anyways. Thank you guys for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Please be like and subscribe. And what do you think about the Hawkeye's wife? Is Hawkeye's wife something? Or is she nothing? What do you think is up with her? Is she just simply a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent? Or do you think Marvel would go the distance? Do you think Marvel will go as far as to make her make her Bobby, a.k.a. Mockingbird. I could see it happening. I could see Laura being a fake name. I could see Laura being a fake name, being a fake name to hide her true identity. I, it, it, it easy, easily. Anyways, thank you guys for joining the Comic Game Move Show again. Please do like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.